Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna and I've been busy. I know last time there was a temporal storm coming, but uh, this is after that. Yeah, I did go through that temporal storm. You didn't need to see another one. You know very well what freaking happens there. Anyway, so I managed to get myself more iron and uh, yeah, I, I got my new helmet done. So my suit is complete, my iron chainmail suit. So that is a pretty good thing. As you can see here, I got 51 more blooms. The only thing is uh, it takes time to do all of it. And I gotta have a good day, a good windy day to do it. And well, like now, today, that uh, would be a good day. Anyways, I plan on expanding the windmill, adding some more sails on both, uh, on the two other sides. I know the sail will collide, but it doesn't really collide. No, there's no collision rule on that. So I can see that the bees are having a good time. They are spreading every skep, I think, uh, has bees in it. So it won't be too long before, uh, yeah, I'll be able to uh, get my honey. I'll be producing a lot more than before. So I got more flax growing over here. I got some over there that isn't currently ready. But I did manage to pick up a lot of turnips and carrots, and the uh, food is going super well. I'm gonna have tons and tons of food. I I'll need to replace those fences over here for the more uh, recent ones soon. <laughs> yeah, because uh, they, they look crappy. I haven't updated that yet. But today, that's not what we're gonna be working on. Today, I want to start working on a chicken pen. Yes. Uh, this is all nice for the animals and all that, but I want to have a place for the chicken. And to do that, I'm going to have to clear out this little area over here. I want my chicken pen to be a little further away so I don't scare them off every time I go near them. So to begin with, we're going to have to clear this whole area out and uh, remove the trees at the same time. So uh, I believe that, Rick, this is going to be your moment to shine with a super fast forward animation. Yeah, I know you're sick of them. I know that's all I request from you, but uh, just, just bear with me. Well, I believe that clears us uh, quite a big area. Uh, what the, what is this, pine leaves, really? So yeah, this is big enough. Now I have specific plans on what I wanna do and eventually I'll be able to kind of uh, make the uh, chickens run right into the coop after it's done. Anyways, right now I got like too many fertility soils and uh, there is no place to put that. I think my... <laughs> Oh, whoa, what the? Wh why? Why are you guys out there? What is this? Did you guys just run inside the hole there? You just ran in the hole. Uh, okay, yeah, right. Uh, okay, apparently I got some friends out there that want to be part of the family. Maybe I can get them to run inside. Ah, oh, that baby is running away too far. You know what? Ignore them. Let's ignore them. Maybe I can get this one, this one to come, right? It's back. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. This way. You can do it. You're almost in. Come on. Really? Okay, maybe I can kind of close the fence in now. And there you go. You've been trapped. And you're ready to be impregnated. So, yeah, that big guy in there, you better get ready, buddy. You got lots of women for you. So, as I was saying, all of this uh, box is already full of dirt. I really don't know what to do with the rest of it. I think I'm just going to chuck it in the water over there. See you later. Bye. Adios. See you later. Bye bye. So for this particular work, I'm going to be needing the chisel and the hammer. And of course, I'm going to need the saw as well. So to begin with, I'm going to grab these uh, maple logs and I will turn them into maple planks. I'm going to need a little bit of uh, everything here. 
mostly maple slabs that I can then chisel away. So to begin with, I'm going to use this tree as a... Oh my god, I'm going to have to... Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to send these things over here so they're all on the right side. Yeah. So I'm going to set a little surface area that's going to be uh, the inside of a little coop. And this is what it looks like. Now I want to make another one identical on the other side. And there you go. Now for the bowls, I'm going to be using a maple slab like this. I'm going to be setting them too high on all four corners. Just like this. And after that, I'm going to bring out my chisel. Start chiseling a wing, a little corner on each. There you go. There you go. Let's have this done all around. And that's exactly what it looks like. Great. Now I want to have two maple planks here and uh, I'm going to put them down here. Those are going to be the entryways. So again, I'm going to kind of turn those into stairs, but I'm going to go a little bit more detailed here. And there you go. That's one side and let's just do the other real fast. And there you go. Now, I believe the chicken shouldn't have any trouble getting into the pen with this. I'm just going to have to hope that everything works as a, according to plan. Now, I want to have a couple of trap doors, and that's how I'm going to access it, uh, the, the coops, to get the eggs. Now, I want to have a grand total of six of them. And there you go. Also, while we're at it, I want to make the roof out of hay. So, for that, we're going to need the scythe. I believe I already have it on me, so let's just bring it along. And uh, I'm going to put some things away, otherwise it's going to be a little bit uh, hard on the inventory. Let's put this, uh, these wood logs away. I'm just going to collect a whole buttload of those so I can make all the roofing that I need. Okay, so with our big stack of uh, dry grass, let's make ourselves a couple of hay bales. I don't know if 32 is going to be too much. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to give it a go. Uh, okay, I can make a couple of them. And I can always convert them back afterwards, so let's go and keep working on our chicken coops. Oh, and by the looks of it, my lamellae molds are ready. I made four more, so it would be a little less tedious to fix up my armor. Because yeah, as you can see, I took the time to make myself some more ingots. Copper, tin bronze, I made some more bismuth bronze, I made some lead, and I also made some la molly do chalco ingot. I said it perfectly, flawlessly, there was no mistake in the way I said it, I'm pretty sure of it. And I did make also some brass ingot. We're gonna have to look into those a little later to see what are the benefits in making these two additional ingots. But that's not what we're doing. I won't squirrel. Rick, don't don't you don't you dare. I'm not gonna squirrel. I'm I'm you see, I'm working on the chicken coop. I'm fine. Everything's good. Uh yeah. Let's uh start by adding our little roof. It doesn't need to be super high in there. I don't need to go in there. I won't need to go in there. The only thing I need to do is set everything down before everything is complete. Well, I I will be able to enter inside a little bit, you know, right right down there. This is going to be like a little higher. Really? Really, guys? Thought I killed you all. I think they kind of respawn every season, so... <laughs> it is to be expected to have more wolves, but I think I'm pretty much uh, equipped to be able to handle them. How dare you? How dare you, Roofing, not place yourself in the correct place? That's okay. At least I'll be able to place it this way a little easier. I think we're starting to lose sunlight. What a bummer. That's yeah, okay, we got our lantern. So, yeah, they, they look uh, nice, small, and cozy. Let's just cut this out there. We'll need this. And the way that I was seeing this is I could put... Uh, you know what? I think two is going to be too much. <laughs> I think... I think one... I, I was thinking making an opening in the bat, and I can just, like, open trap doors, and then I could just collect the eggs and all that. Maybe two is going to be too much. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. Anyways, let's start by placing these in there. So when I come over here, I can just, like, beep, collect the eggs, 
close the hatch. And then all I need to do is collect all of these uh, hen boxes and plenty of eggs on the ground as well. Um, let's just grab them all. Uh, I suppose my inventory is full. Darn it. There you go. All the eggs. Now, uh, if there were some eggs that were ready to be uh, incubated, I, I guess I'm kind of ruining the chance of that happening now. Oh, why are you still pissed at me, right? Why are you acting so pissy? Eventually, they'll learn to love me. They will. Yes, they'll become my friends until I start slaughtering them. Or they'll just let me start slaughtering them. Anyways, look at that. All sorts of chicken eggs. Yay, and I got some rot. Ugh, I'm gonna have to take care of that eventually. So many things to take care of. Just don't have enough time. So you know what, the initial plan was to have two of them, and I think I'll stick to that. So let's start placing the roof on the other side. There you go, and we can just start inserting one piece at a time. There you go, and let's do the other side as well. And the wolves are very, very screamy tonight. I suspect they don't appreciate what I did to the other wolves before them. <laughs> oh, shut up! So I believe it looks okay for now. I can insert the other uh, trap doors over here. And then I could put the hen boxes here. So they're going to be easy to access. Now, I would like these stairs to be uh, centered. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make an opening that's going to be like right in the middle here. And uh, the stairs, I will kind of cut off like a big part of it. So to begin with, I think I'm just going to let my... Uh, yeah, leave my light somewhere right here so I can get some constant light when I'm working. Let's get our chisel out again and let's get cracking. Uh, remove uh, half of that, half of this. Same thing goes uh, here. Remove that, remove that, and then we can just proceed on removing the uh, other parts that we don't need. And there you go. Doesn't that look freaking awesome? It does. Uh, I feel like... I could kind of round this out as, as well. Might as well, right? Okay, so everything's been rounded, and uh, how, how well is that going to go? Lucky, they, look at that. Uh, access to the hand box. That is perfect. That was going to be swell. Now, how are we going to close this off? Now, I got some more material here. Maybe I can kind of, first of all, turn this back into hay. Can, can I destroy this to turn back into hay? What do I need for that? A knife will do. Thank you. What are you doing there, buddy? What's going on? Why are you in the forge? You want to live here with me? So when I go to work, you can stay here forever and ever? You're going to be my slave. You're going to be my helper. So, yeah, to begin with, first task, uh, Mr. Big Whore Lamb, get all of these iron blooms converted into bars. All right? You, you get to work now. That was lacking now. Otherwise, I'm going to give you to Todd. And uh, I don't know what he's going to do to you. I, it's pretty much an empty threat. Okay, so just get working. There's you as well. Jesus Christ, they're all over the place. They really want to be with mommy. Let's see if we can make that happen. Go in there. Go. See mommy. No, that was close, but not entirely. Hey, other side. Other side, dum-dum. Go with mommy. Oh my God, he's going to make things difficult, isn't he? You know, I got other things to do than a freaking babysit you, buddy. Why don't you just go join your brother in the freaking forge? How about that, idiot? So all of these, I'm just going to turn them back into planks. I see that I've got some more pines here. And I think that's what I want to do with my inside. I'm going to turn it into pine wood. Yeah, so I'm just going to collect as much as I can. Let's all destroy this freaking thing and get it into my stack. And I believe the pine wood is what's going to look best. So let's make ourselves some, uh, some slabs. Let's make uh, them turn around. There you go vertically that way we'll be able to uh, finish off the walls and we can chisel them and make them look all nice and shiny so let's just go ahead and place them two over here two over there and we'll poke holes into it afterwards so let's start by poking our holes in there so yeah there you go hens will be able to go inside now sweet and i believe for the feeders we'll leave those outside now, just for the heck of it, I believe that we could probably add in a couple of these uh, blocks here and try and give this a little bit of a pizzazz. Okay, well, it doesn't look that bad. I think it looks pretty okay. 
probably put a name on there. I don't know. Call it chickens. I don't know. Chicken Coop 1. And this is 2. Ah, mysteriously. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's do this again. I'll see you after I've done this one. All right, so both are done. And that is just swell. Now, the chickens can go inside. Uh, we still need to put some more boxes in there. Yeah, a couple of hen boxes. I can make that in a jiffy. Get back to work. Stop freaking messing around and running around in circle. You're wasting time. I don't pay you to just run around and stand on weird places you're not supposed to be standing. I know, Rick, I should be cutting him a little slack. He's working hard. He's working nights also and probably misses his mom. All right, let's open these. Let's uh, put our hen boxes in there. And I believe that's it. All I need now is to actually set up a fence. The only problem is these fans don't seem to want to really connect here. I hope it's not going to be an issue. My chickens are not going to go out. Uh, speaking of which, can, can the babies kind of crawl underneath? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to see this as a hitbox or not. Ah, oh, my God. Anyways, we'll have to see about that. For now, let's just uh, put this... Close it up. And there you go. We got ourselves a chicken coop. Even got a nice little shale stone in it for the heck of it. Now, of course, I don't want the chickens to have access to the back part here and just, you know, sticking one of these isn't going to do the job. But whatever I plan to do, it, it should require some more of this pine, and I don't think I have any more. I'm just going to find another one and whack it until it falls. Oh, but do my eyes deceive me? Plenty of pine over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, the Kapok log. That was one of the special seeds that I've collected. So, okay, nice to know. And did I have another tree that I planted that I thought was interesting? Yeah, I thought I planted him in the area over here, or maybe it hasn't grown yet. That's probably it. Oh, there you go. Redwood sapling will mature in about 61 days. That's a lot of time. Okay. We'll just have to wait it out. Anyways, right now all I need is some pine, so I'm just going to cut this big-ass tree and make it mine. Yeah, there you go. Time to reap the reward. So with this, I can actually uh, make myself... Uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's uh, this and that. Yeah, all right, that's great. Need to make two of them. Two gates. One for the front and one for the back. Oh yeah, there's one. And I believe I'm gonna have to cut these trees down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the fence go all around here instead and put a gate in the back as well. And of course, it's gotta be that little bouncy tree part. Damn it, will you stop that? Come into my inventory. No, I won't. Now I will need some, uh, I'm gonna take some shale stone and grab some of that dirt that I've collected. I wonder if it's gonna work with just a low fertility. Ah, there you go. Guess I'm gonna need more stones. Get in there, do your thing. Make myself a stack of 64. It's always gonna be needed, right? And there you go. I got my 64 pathway, which is uh, gonna be handy when it comes to make my path that goes front and back of here. Now let's complete our little fence in the back. We'll go over the way over here, and there, and I'm going to destroy a little bit of that dirt. That's going to be in the way. Big gone, foul dirt. You don't belong here. Yeah, fine. All right, it's all good. And we got this. Nice. Okay, so everything is set, I believe. So all we need to do now is transfer the chickens. Now, how do I do that, you might ask? Well, that's easy. I'm going to destroy these parts of fences here, and I am going to connect it over here. And, and you know how the chickens all like to run away from me, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make them run for their freaking lives. I'll destroy that, and let's go chase some chickens. Uh, Rick, put some amusing music for that. All right, let's do this. Hey, guys. Yep, over there, over there. No, where are you going? Go. Ow. Come on, buddy. You're the last one. You're the you're you're the one holding up the whole freaking group here. Uh, I can't do it from out here. I gotta go like this. No, where the freaking hell are you going, you idiot? Okay, everyone's in. Everyone's in. Let's uh, kind of close off this gate again. There you go. And we can close this off as well. 
So, all of our chickens are in the right area. And I suspect that they won't be bothered all that much. So, why not? Let's put a little something over here. Maybe we could put like an arch or something neat. Uh, is this going to be a problem, guys? Are you going to be a problem going on there? No? You guys are going to be okay? Uh, this is where the eggs go, and this is where the eggs go on the other side. So you guys can friggin' figure it out now. Now stop trying to jump over each other and get out of the- Oh my god, that one freaking escaped! How dare you! Might have to rethink my design here. Yeah, I think it might need a little tweaking. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Uh, you guys have some fun. I'm gonna get you your troughs. Yeah, look at what you guys did. You left some freaking eggs everywhere, making a mess all that time. Unacceptable. Freaking laying eggs everywhere. How dare you? Well, it means that these guys can have their troughs placed over here. There you go. Three of them. That's nice. I'm gonna go collect the eggs on the other side. Yeah, with all these eggs, I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some recipes. I got plenty of eggs, so that means I'm gonna be able to make a lot of egg foods. Yes, that's what they're called. Egg foods. They're eggy, and they're food. Egg foods. So yeah, we got like uh, 32 eggs. Means I can make myself a couple of interesting meals. Why is there an ingot here? Why? Everything's so freaking disorganized. I'm gonna have to talk to someone about that. You guys are seriously annoying. You, stop speaking with the others. Just get back to work. Are you done with the iron? Let me go see. 51, there was 51 last time I checked. What have you been doing? Yeah, go in the dark room. Yeah, that's where you belong. Go in the dark room. You're grounded till further notice. All this yelling has made me f f hungry. Let's get some of this food out of there. Oh, I believe this is going to be my next meal. Ah, be a the hungry. I got to tell you, these scrambled eggs with carrots and turnip just hit the spot. Go back in the box where you belong. Uh, of course, the next thing to do would be making a path. So we'll start from here. And we'll go our way, the, yeah, over here. And let's make the path go all the way here. And that way we'll be able to get there in super speed. Like that. And then we can kind of extend the path to go towards the back also. And I might have to kind of plant some stuff there to make it look nicer. Maybe get this tree out of the way. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very blocky. It's very much taking a lot of room there, and I don't, I don't think I'll be able to walk under the branch. Look at that. Ow! We're gonna hit my head on those branches there. There you go. Problem solved. As for this, you could just, like, plug the holes there. Block it off. And that tree's gonna go. See you later, tree. It's nothing personal, but you're just kind of in the way. And there you go. Yeah, nothing happened. And uh, I, I don't know what the freaking hell you're doing there. You're definitely not staying. So, yeah, that is okay, except I'm still worried for the the hens. Are you guys all gonna run away, or what? Are you are you mine? Are you, like, second-gen chickens or something like that? What are you? What are you? Oh, yeah, you're one of mine. You're one of... Ah, I'm freaking losing them. Okay, so apparently this video is about how not to do a chicken coop, so... Yeah, don't follow my example, apparently. This is a generation one. Uh, you're, you're mine, right? You can go back. Yeah, go over there. Go over there. I'll lead you back home, okay? I'm sure you're gonna find your way there. So as long as they're not going crazy like I'm making them go right now because I'm here constantly. Let's just uh, set these down. We can give them some food. Are, are you guys gonna eat the dry grass? No, you're not. Hey, buddy. Uh, you want to work in my forge as well? Yeah, fine. Just do better work than the freaking lamb, okay? You know what? In the meantime, why don't you go there until I figure out how to bring you back home? I could probably do the whole fencing again. That could work. Oh, and I think I know how I'm going to fix this. Maybe I need to replace these. Remove those and get them out of the way. Or maybe just chisel them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it did sadden me. I, I kind of like the curves and all that, but I, I believe this is uh, just a little bit too much trouble. And I'm losing my chickens. So, yeah, plan failed. But, okay, up the front, it's going to be okay. There's not going to be the problem. It's really on the sides here that just freaking getting out of. A bunch of douchebags. And now that I put the pieces back here, let's destroy these. And uh, I believe now the problem should be solved. Now, I am kind of saddened that I lost some Generation 1 chickens, but uh, they're going to be a great meal for later on. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's going to be. Great meals. 
But ladies and gentlemen, I believe that I'm glad to say that the chicken coop is finally done. And you can clearly see a chicken over there that is outside. Probably one of my Gen 1s again. Maybe there's going to be a way that I'm going to be able to lure him back inside. I'm making fences and all the animals are escaping. Look at that, there's a little lamb over there. You can, you can see it try to run inside, clearly. But yeah, I believe uh, lesson learned. I'll try to make any little fancy blocks that the chicken will be able to climb over and then jump out at a fence with. Uh, just try to keep it simple. <laughs> you got to plan this thing out. But that will be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did don't forget to nudge that little like button and i'll see you next time so until then take care and stay safe rakuna out